this is me with absolutely no makeup on. You can see that I have a lot of imperfections, acne scars, redness, something that I battle with every day, but I'm gonna cover all that up with my trusty Makeup Forever HD. I'm using my Beauty Blender to pat my foundation into the skin. Next, I'm going in with my favorite concealer and I'm just gonna go back to the areas that need a little bit more coverage. To set everything, I'm using my MAC MSF with my big e.l.f. powder brush. So we're just gonna set the concealer and the foundation. So you all already know, with my MAC uninterrupted and with my MAC 217 brush, this shadow is going all over the entire crease. I'm also applying it to the beginning of my brows, down to the bridge of my nose. What this does is help to create shadows and sculpting effect. I'm aware that this look might not be for everyone, so you can skip this step if you like and just keep the shadow on the crease. So after you tie line, go in with MAC, black track, and outline your eyes. I am going in with the Bold Wing Liner. Again, if you don't like it, you can choose not to do it and just keep it simple. For contouring, I'm using my MAC Give Me Sun and a Real Techniques contouring brush. I'm going to contour, obviously, my fat round face. Next, with this awesome palette that Smashbox created. I love this palette. I'm going in and I'm picking up M6 with a small shader brush and I'm applying that to the bottom of the eyes. This is gonna help balance the eyes out a little bit so it's not so top heavy. With NYX Wonder Pencil and Light, I'm outlining the inner eyes just to brighten up my eyes. <laughs> now don't mind my awkward dancing, but it's time to highlight. With an expert face brush, we're gonna softly blur that into the skin. So this step is optional, but I always like to line my eyes twice, first with the gel liner and then with the liquid liner. I feel that it gives it more of a velvet intense look when both are combined. <laughs> okay, who also does this with their liquid liner? You know you gotta thin yourself and make that liner dry. Onto mascara, I'm using the MAC In Extreme Dimension. And the highlighter today is Becca in Moonstone. And with my MAC, uh, what number is this? <laughs> 132 brush, lightly dusted on the cheek. This is an amazing highlighter. It's definitely up there with one of my top favorites. With MAC Faux Lipstick, this completes the look. Wait, wait. Here's a second option, a nice soft coral lipstick. This one is called Sushi Kiss. This completes my signature look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up for more tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.